Hello everyone. Just wanted to put together a little video showing uh, something I've been getting into. So I was watching a few videos on a site of another YouTuber called, who goes by Mort Mort, and he's using this uh, sprite editing tool called AE Sprite, and then he's using a plugin for Blender called Spritile, and I thought that looked quite fun, so I decided to uh, see if I could try my hand at it. So I got a copy of AE Sprite, and you can see it right here. Uh, in the, the top left here, everything's at the bottom left corner. That's a blender, it just has an overlay. But the rest of it, you can see me going through, uh, pixeling things, and I was surprised how nice this software was. I've used other programs to try to do sprites before. Uh, Clip Studio comes to mind, and uh, this just makes it so much easier. I suppose because it's designed specifically for uh, doing uh, sprite tiles. But in any case, you can sort of see me going through here, picking colors, and right now I'm just roughing in the sort of tiles you might see on the uh, side of the house because, you know, I like RPGs, I like that RPG style. Okay, now here I've just switched over to Blender, and I'm using a plugin for Blender called uh, AE, uh, no, Sprite Tile. And uh, it's a free plugin to use, and it's a pretty nice one. Okay, and now we're back into um, uh, AE Sprite. I'll talk more about uh, Sprite Tile when we go back over there. But I noticed that the door is a little bit off center here, so here I'm just adjusting it, uh, bringing it a little bit into the center, then painting in the little colors so that it uh, blends nicely into the background. And this is a completely different other project that I'm uh, accidentally building up because Blender is crashing at this point. But uh, I think I fixed Blender by now and uh, we're back in. Oh, no. All right, here we are. And I'm uh, putting in some struts here now just to uh, get a little bit of variety because those walls can look a little bit empty if it's just the uh, plain white uh, uh, whitewash texture. And I'm thinking of getting in a roof here. So you can see me putting together a uh, roof texture. This is going to be sort of like a tiled roof. And uh, they're adding it to my palette. And now I am trying to build up a roof by building by um, bringing those tiles up in sort of a 45 degree angle. And now I'm trying to figure out how to make that roof go in again because uh, you don't want it to go up too high. Because if you look at real houses in the real world, roofs only go up so high and after a while they have to sort of angle down. Like if you have a really wide expanse cover, neither you're going to have a flat top or you're going to have a bunch of uh, sort of mountains like this. So I'm sort of going for that M look here. And uh, so I'm filling in the background, giving this uh, environment a little bit of a nicer, more fuller uh, landscape to be in. You can sort of see those little fox characters in the foreground. I put those there just as sort of a reference because when you're doing backgrounds, it can be really easy to not be entirely sure what the scale is. So by having little human characters or humanoid characters in there, it helps you to keep track of just how big things are so you don't make things too big. Because uh, that, that's a really easy uh, trap I've fallen into before. Anyhow, uh, we now need to put some stuff underneath the roof so that it matches up nicely. So you can see these angular pieces I'm trying to put in there. Just made them spry tile. And in the bottom left corner, you can see Blender. So I've got uh, back to the overlay uh, setup now. And uh, now for a centerpiece, because right now that little um, triangle in the middle is just kind of floating in midair and that really needs to be grounded on the beam below. Okay, now I am moving the roof up a little bit because I wanted it to jut out a little. So uh, you're going to see me adding little tiles on the edge here. Now this is going to be the underside of the roof because roofs uh, normally sit on some sort of plank work. It's, uh, they're just not hovering in space. So this is just sort of like a, a plywood, well it's not really plywood, but uh, just a wooden underside for the roof here. And you can see me just adding a little bit of an a lip to the front and the sides of the roof here. And a little bit later in the video, I'm going to shrink that a bit because the overhang is a little bit too much. But you, you get the idea here. And now I'm filling in the background. At this point, I decided it'd be interesting to see what sort of a, a cliff or a yeah, cliff behind the house would look like. And you know, if you're an adventurer, you might want to climb up cliffs. So. Here is sort of a uh, angular, well, a uh, sort of 
it has depth to it. You can go back into it, not just a, a single surface. And I put some grass on top. Now I'm trying to think about what it'd be like to put sort of like a cave in there. So if you wanted to go into a cave, what would that look like? And right now, uh, simply putting in the geometry, it's a little bit hard to see what the cave looks like. So I'm putting, I'm creating a darker tile. So the inside of the cave looks darker than the outside because right now it just really blends into the background there. And all right, and there's sort of like a really black tile for the very back. So you don't know, that's where it gets completely dark. And although I am going to change that up a little bit later. So you can see here, yeah, now I'm um, trying to come up with something to go around the edges of the cave door. So that looks a little bit more like a cave door and not just a uh, square hole in the side of this cliff here. So you can see me adding a little bit of shading to the edges there. And uh, a little bit of grass on the bottom so it blends with the uh, grass tiles on the floor. And I'm just adjusting the colors here so the uh, back of that cave uh, looks a little bit darker. Not completely dark, but darker than the outside to sort of give a shadow effect. And you can see I've just uh, recolored the walls of the cave in there. Uh, the new tile we've created. And uh, so as I was saying earlier, I uh, fiddled around with the roof a little bit more just to make it a little bit shorter because I made it a little bit too big before. And all right, I think I'm going to be starting on the plants soon because uh, this is looking like a rather uh, barren place. You know, if you're out in sort of a forest or a, a near forested area, there's probably going to be some trees around somewhere. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, first I decided to put up this ramp because, you know, if you want to go up to those upper levels there, you're going to need something to walk up. And so um, and now I'm going to be putting on a little bit of a path. Here's, here I am creating sort of a path texture. So I thought I'd go with something a little bit lighter, a little bit sandy. Uh, it's a little bit too bright right now. I'm going to change that a bit later, but you can see me adding some edges there so it blends in nicely with the uh, cliff color to either, to either side. And here I am creating the uh, double wide tile. And if you look in the model in Blender, we've uh, just uh, swapped out those old tiles and put in those new tiles so that you can sort of have a nice seamless transition from your cliff side to uh, sort of a, a path-like thing that you can walk on. And here I am, okay, I was talking about trees before. I think this can be the tree bark texture. And there you see I have a uh, six-sided cylinder. That's gonna be the trunk of our tree. And here I am applying the tree bark to it. And I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger so it looks more like a pole. And here's my first attempt coming up with leaves. So that's just a uh, six-sided circle that I turned into a point. But I didn't like that so much, uh, so I deleted that, and here I am just creating a bough. So this is going to be for a coniferous tree, and it's just a um, plane that has had its middle rib raised a little bit. And here I am sort of making little uh, circles out of, the, uh, out of that. Uh, I guess that went by a little bit too fast to see, but it's just a several of those boughs arranged in a circle and uh, then stacked on top of each other. And here I am adjusting the colors, so if there's a little bit of a color ramp on the leaf there, or on the bough. And here I decided to create a bush, so this is sort of like a little spray of leaves, and I'm doing something similar here. That's just a plane that's had that texture on it. And then I'm making multiple copies of that and turning them around the center axis. And when you merge all those together, you get something that looks like a bush. And now I'm creating a bit of a rock, so this is just like a, a large rock that you might find lying out in the woods or some other natural environment, or maybe even garden or something like that, just to uh, sort of break it up to give a little bit of variety because, you know, with just the flat tiles, it's a little bit spare. And what am I doing here? Okay, uh, another texture. Okay, this is a new rock texture because I wasn't happy with the first one. I decided to create something a little bit more horizontal because I think initially I was just using reusing the clip texture and it didn't look right. So, uh, and now I'm putting on a side addition for the house. I want to see what it would look like if I had roofs going up in both directions. So you can see me quickly roughing in an, an extension to the house just using tiles I've already created. And all right, here we go. 
And I think this is where I left off and you can sort of see my final here. So I hope you like this. Definitely check out AE Sprite if you're into Sprite tiling at all. And Sprite Tile, I'll post links to both of these below. Sprite Tile is a free add-on to Blender. It doesn't work with Blender 2.8, which is the newest version of Blender, but it does work with Blender 2.79, which is uh, the version of Blender you saw me using here. Anyhow, that's the demo. I hope you liked it, and if so, uh, come back. I hope to post more of this on my channel. Where will this go? I don't know. For now, I'm just playing around with art. Uh, maybe good things will come of this. In any case, uh, see you later.